From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in an episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. The arrival of Uttarayan in the month of January brings tears in the northern and western part of India. As winters start fading into spring, colourful kites could be easily spotted in the blue sky. Celebrating the season every year, the International Kite Festival is organised in Ahmedabad city of Gujarat, which is the hub of kite manufacturing in India. Let's take you to see this year's International Kite Festival. Kites and kite flying all over the world have common denominators of fun, history, tradition and art. It is quite a common sight in India to witness a myriad of colourful kites in the sky, especially during the months of January and February because of the arrival of Uttarayan, the period when winters slowly start fading into spring. A treat for kite flying enthusiasts all around the world, the International Kite Festival returned to its full glory in Ahmedabad city of Gujarat after the two-year pandemic break. This year, the festival was inaugurated by Bhupendra Patel, Chief Minister of Gujarat. A theme pavilion marking the history of kites was set up by the authorities for the opening ceremony. Kite festival in Parampara Hawe, Gujarat ni vaisik urak bani gai chhe. Adhani vada pradhan siya patang chagawana tehwan ne, adhuni kaya mane ruprang apya, kite festival ne desh videsh ma, नामना अपावी आना परिणाम में तेपन देशों ने 126 पतंगबाज ने 14 राज्यों ने 50 पतंगबाजों ने आवी ने आ काइट फेस्टिवल में पाचला तमाम रिकॉर्ड ब्रेक कर दिया छे अने विश्व ने एक परिवार भावना वसुदेव कुटुम कम चरितास करी हुई छे Marking the ceremony, 126 participants from 53 countries around the world attended the event. A special parade was taken out by national and international kite flyers. A number of cultural dance performances were also organized during the ceremony, making it a grand affair. This festival is one of the biggest in the world and uh, I meet my friends from many countries and I get to share my kites and my art with many people. It's a very uh, big uh, celebrate, uh, have a good uh, color and a lot of different people and I think that it's uh, one of the best festival in the world because we go in different festivals but uh, maybe in India more joy, more fun, more color. Yes, it's very pretty. Kites gathered at the Sabarmati riverfront in Ahmedabad with their colourful and unique kites that adorn the sky. Organised by the Gujarat Tourism, this year's theme for the festival was the G20 theme of One Earth, One Family, One Future. We have two kites of G20. We have also a group of kites that look like uh, different girls. They are so pretty and we have a mola, it's a traditional art of our country, or in, even in South America. Apart from Ahmedabad, international kite festivals are also being organized at different cities like Surat, Vadodara, Rajkot, Dwarka and others. In Vadodara city, kites gather together to fly colorful and unique kites. Locals were thrilled to attend the festival. For me, the important is to make, uh, to, to give a smile on the kids' faces. Yeah. <laughs> we are living difficult time with COVID and everything. And for me, if I fly my kites, they look and they smile. That's for me precious. I feel, I feel much better now. Uh, I was trying my best to to hold the spirit and to continue flying, even during the pandemic, flying indoor, flying in my home, flying in my room, and 
uh, I'm very happy that uh, we are back again on the kite fields and to do all these uh, very good uh, festivals. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in India. This year's festival was organized to promote India's G20 presidency. Gujarat is the hub of kite manufacturing in India. The industry in the state has increased from 10 crores to 625 crores in two decades and employs around 1.3 lakh people. Moving on, we'll take you to Sambal district of Uttar Pradesh where the shrine of Janeta Sharif has been uniting people of different religious communities for years. Take a look. Situated in the Chandosi area in the Sambal district of Uttar Pradesh, the shrine of Janeta Sharif has been serving as a symbol of religious harmony for years. Recently, the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint was held which was attended by scores of devotees from all across the state. Devotees offered chadars to saint and prayed for fulfillment of wishes. ये हमारी जो खानका है आस्ताना ये एकता का प्रतीक है यहाँ हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख हिसाई सभी धर्मों के मानने वाले आते हैं और मुरादे मानते हैं और अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इन बुजुर्गों के तवसुल से उनकी मुरादे अल्लाह पूरी करता है सूफिया इक्राम ने यहाँ आके इस्लाम की तबलीग की और लोगों को भाईचारे का एकता का सबक दिया Marking the occasion, different groups presented their kawalis in praise of the saint. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Janeta Sharif throughout his life propagated the message of peace and brotherhood. It is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. सभी आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सभी आते हैं सबके लिए दर खुला है सबको यहाँ से फैज मिलता है यहाँ जिस ने से जो इंसान आता है उसको वही यहाँ पे मिलता है जो जैसे मकसद से यहाँ आएगा कि मुझे इस काम से आना है तो उसका वो काम होना है सिंस एजेस दी सूफी सेंस लाइक सेंट जनिता शरीफ हैज प्रोपगेटेड द मैसेज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिज्म एंड हार्मोनी इन आवर कंट्री एंड देयर टीचिंग्स are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. Now a round up of some major stories that made news recently. Jaggery makers and sugarcane farmers in India's southern Madurai city pulled up their socks as demand for the sugarcane based form of sugar shot up ahead of annual harvest festival Pongal. Pongal is a popular Hindu festival especially in southern Tamil Nadu state which marks the commencement of the sun's 6 month journey towards the north. Indadu vande inda karumbu vande inda vellanga sadha amuk tholil அடிச்சு கமிட்டிக்கு அனுப்பி விட்டுருவோம் அவங்க வந்து எங்கிட்ட விற்கிறாங்கன்ற அவங்க இஷ்டம் எங்களுக்கு கொப்பரைக்கு தண்ணு கணக்கு அங்கே இல்லைன்னு சொன்னால் நாங்கள் ராசவளையம் தேனி பெரியவளம் தாராவரம் இப்படி மேலூர் இந்த சைட்லாம் போய் அவங்க கூப்பிட்டு ஆர்டர் கொடுக்கும்போது நாங்கள் அதை பண்ணி கொடுத்துட்டு வருவோம் Jaggery is made out of sugar cane which is juiced and subsequently boiled till the juice thickens to form chunks. The jaggery chunks are then rolled into balls for selling purposes. It is used to make a sweet dish made of rice also known as pongal during the festival of the same name where people make murals and worship the sun god. Zoos in parts of India made special arrangements to provide warmth to their birds and animals as they reel under the cold weather. Located in the tropics, most of India witnesses a very hot summer and a largely temperate winter. जिसको जो चाहिए, जैसे लायन को हितार चाहिए, टाइगर को हितार चाहिए, तो उसी तरह से हितार मांगवाया है हम लोगों ने सबको हितार दे दिया है। और दूसरे जानवरों के लिए आप लोगों ने क्या किया है? हाँ, दूसरी जैसे भालू को जैसे खैर चाहिए उसको, उसको हम हितार नहीं दे सकता है। तो उसका जो गुफा में रहता है, तो � 
Temperatures have been dipping across the country in recent days and has taken a toll on human and animal lives alike. Zoo authorities brought in heaters for big felines like lions, tigers and even other animals like monkeys to cope with the biting cold. Bear, rhinoceros, boars and deers were seen resorting to hay beds to seek relief from the chilly weather in the northeastern Guwahati city. Meanwhile, New Delhi's Ayanagar saw the mercury dip to 1.8 degrees Celsius, which marked the lowest temperature the national capital has recorded this season, according to the weather department. Bollywood actors Arjun Kapoor and Radhika Madan promoted their upcoming action thriller film Kutte in India's western Mumbai city. Kapoor and Madan, accompanied by director Asman Bharadwaj, interacted with media persons as they discussed the film and posed for photographs. Title's reason is that we can understand the film and see it. It's not that we have kept the dog to latch on to a sensational title. It's a good film that they have taken the philosophy of the film. And you can see the hints in the trailer, but when you see the film, you can see that the title of the film's title is the dog's dog. The film that also stars Tabu, Konkana Sen Sharma and Nasruddin Shah among others tells the story of three gangs who are after a van carrying billions of cash. It was released in theatres on January 13. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the shrines of Sufi saints have been acting as a guiding force in the lives of many. So today, we'll take you to one such shrine in Mangalaru city of Karnataka, which has been acting as a symbol of religious harmony for generations. Situated on the banks of Netravadi River in the Mangalaru city of Karnataka, the shrine of Hazrat Zakaria has been serving as a symbol of communal harmony for generations. The shrine is situated in the Ajila Mogaru village. Along with the shrine, a mosque built by Hazrat Baba Fakhruddin is also present. The shrine has served as a sinusha of communal harmony for generations, which is thronged by a large number of devotees every day from across the nation, irrespective of their religion. Here, जातियों का कोम का कोई भी बात नहीं है सभी कोम कोम का सभी जाति का सभी पॉलिटिक पार्टी का आदमी इधर जमा होते हैं बहुत अच्छी तरह मिलके इधर जियारत करने के लिए बातचीत करने के लिए यहां का देखने के लिए सभी सभी धर्मों का आदमी आते हैं रिगार्डेड एस वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट सूफी सेंट्स Hazrat Zakaria throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. The Chintamani Lakshmi Narsimha temple is also located other side of the Netravadi river facing the shrine which has a history of around 800 years. Coming from far and wide these devotees visit the Darga to seek the blessings of the holy saint. It is believed that saints solve all the problems and fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. Yaha ka devasthan mandir mastid sirf waha shanti waha soharda waha sirf nahi hai. Sabi idhar ka sabi dukkhan pe, idhar ka sabi ghar pe pe bahut achai sohard ka vatavaran hai. Since ages, the Sufi saints like Saint Zakaria have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Colombians took to the streets in the annual Blacks and Whites Carnival celebrating diversity in the southwestern city of Pasto. The celebration, which UNESCO named a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage of humanity in 2009, 
draws on the South American countries, indigenous, Spanish and African traditions. Bueno, nosotros siempre estos carnavales los utilizamos para divertirnos, para iniciar un año nuevo con alegría, con entusiasmo, con mucha esperanza. Aquí lo hacemos siempre en familia, compartiendo la felicidad de que tenemos nueva vida. Despite its name, which invokes the ritual of wearing black and white clothing to symbolize unity and equality, the carnival combines vibrant colors and music to celebrate ethnic and cultural diversity. On the day of the whites, artists put together a six-hour parade featuring colorful outfits. On the day of the blacks, participants are encouraged to paint their faces black to commemorate the liberation of slaves. Revelers brought joy and cheer to Upper Manhattan as the annual Three Kings Day Parade returned in person for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic. Organized by El Museo del Barrio, the parade is now in its 46th year. It featured musical performances, dancers and giant puppets of the Three Kings to commemorate the three wise men who brought gifts to Jesus following his birth. She loves everybody. She loves to kiss people. So <laughs> She's a vegetarian. <laughs> but it's really nice to be part of this parade. It's such a huge community effort and I actually really, really love it. It's one of my favorite things. Drummer Jose Ortiz, also known as Dr. Drum, said he's been involved in the parade for over a decade. School children, some holding small maracas and wearing gold-colored crowns, throng the parade route. People dressed as Jesus and his parents, Mary and Joseph, walk towards the parade's end, followed by three live camels. Japanese firm JCB has launched a new variety of credit card in Vietnam. It allows customers to customize their cards and choose from a variety of 12 designs like a Happy Cat, Sushi, Sumo, Tea Set, Happy Crane and more. Vietnam's first JCB card was issued in 2011. This card in cooperation with Military Commerce Joint Stock Bank. JCB はですね、ベトナムでのクレジットカード発行というのを2011年に開始いたしまして、その後ですね、順調にその規模を拡大し、現在400万人近いお客様に JCB カードをご愛用いただいております。そしてあのこのベトナムにおけるですね、経済成長といわゆるキャッシュレス、この流れも非常にあの加速しておりまして、いわゆる消費者の皆様からもさまざまなニーズによってこのキャッシュレスというのが支えられております。ミリタリーバンクさんというのはベトナムにおいて近年デジタルの領域にどんどん力を入れてですね拡大をしている銀行の一つでございます。JCB ともですねカードの発行を今年からですねバーチャルカードとユーグッションカードを発行したり新たな取り組みをさせていただいているベトナム、日本、来年50周年という国交の関係もございますがその中において JCB は JCB らしさとして日本を中心としたサービス。こちらを提供していくことで、ベトナムにおけるキャッシュレス社会の情勢、こちらに貢献していきたいと考えております。An event was organized by JCB where Mr. Yoshiki Kaniko, President of JCB International, and Mr. Wu Than Trung, Head of Digital Banking Military Bank, participated. The leaders emphasized on how JCB respects and tries to serve the Vietnamese market. JCB is progressing to issue credit cards based on global policy to be familiar with issuing countries and catching up new trend of digitalization. This is the story of water management by Tokyo Metropolitan Government. The total length of the conduit is 27,000 kilometers. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government has improved the quality of the material used in making water pipes and changed the conduit pipes to ductile pipe, which has reduced the leakage to 3%. Authorities respond to the change in the quantity of water and make sure to keep the water supply stable for 24 hours. Continuous observation enables to solve any leakage or any other kind of problems because authorities are quick to respond. 
To prevent any kind of flooding of rivers, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government has made an underground pond in the mid of Tokyo, which aims to gather flood water. In December 2022, work was done at 27 positions of 12 rivers. Tokyo Met staff observes rainfall and water levels of the river. They dispatch the information and image of observing camera on YouTube simultaneously. The department often has trainees from foreign countries as well who go to other countries later. This exchange aims to cooperate skillful maintenance of water and sewage services, prevention of water leaking and taking measures for flood management. Well, a glass mirror shows the face, a work of art shows the soul. Art lovers from around the country flocked to the southern city of Bengaluru to witness the Chitra Sante 2023, an event where artists and enthusiasts congregate to celebrate their love for art. This year, the event witnessed massive footfall because of it being held after the two-year pandemic break. Art has the ability to communicate things which words cannot. After two years of the pandemic halt, the streets of Bangalore came alive with artists from not just Tamil Nadu but around the country selling their artworks to hordes of people. This scene was witnessed at the Chitra Sante 2023, an event which is a treat for art lovers in India. बहुत अच्छा है ये तो हमारी पहली बार है पहली बार आए हैं सुनते हो तो आए हैं तीन साल से लेकिन नहीं हो पा गया कोविड की वजह से लेकिन इस बार चांस मिला है और हमने अपना काम यहां लगाया है हमारा वर्क देखिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा 90% चारकोल का वर्क ही है थोड़ा बहुत पेंटिंग्स है और पोर्ट्रेट में ज्यादा इंटरेस्टेड है हमारा काम भी दिखता है आपको पोर्ट्रेट्स में ही ज्यादा और ग्राफिट वर्क भी है और चारकोल वर्क भी है Organized every year by the Karnataka Chitrakala Parishad, this was the 20th rendition of the festival. Be it devotional paintings, portraits, clothes, abstract pieces of art or charcoal drawings, a galore of artworks were put on display and sale by around 1,400 artists. The price of the artworks ranged from Rs 50 to 2 lakhs. This year, the festival was organized at the Kumar Krupa Road in Bangalore. After the pandemic break, this year the footfall at the festival increased by 30 to 40 percent. After two years, Chitra Sante is happening very happy and uh, so much of crowd and most important apart from painting, so many local artists have been given a chance by the government and they, have, uh, and they are showcasing their art, handicraft, uh, paintings. Uh, very happy that they have got an uh, opportunity to sell it in the heart of Bangalore city all in one place. So I am really very very happy and uh, this is melting pot of cultures of different parts of India and uh, artistic things, uh, fine art. And the price range from uh, very basics to very expensive, everything is available for all price ranges. This festival is a dream for all art lovers and also provides a platform to artists to directly contact potential customers and sets the level for other artists as well. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Lipakshi and it's goodbye from the entire production team.